Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. It's me, DJ King. And I'm sorry if my dress is bright and maybe <laughs> a little bold, too bold for you, but yes, it is um, Memorial Day weekend. And I don't know when this video may upload because I've had so much going on this weekend, but I wanted to go ahead and film because I wanted you all to see this bag. So I've had Two of my kids graduate, one from pre-K, one from eighth grade. And then my other son, his birthday was on that Sunday of Memorial Weekend. So between going back and forth out shopping, <laughs> eating cake for every other day of this week, <laughs> it's just been a lot going on. And then uh, the bag that I ordered, I ordered from a brand that I have not experienced before have not been in their store before, have only seen YouTube videos and seen different styles of bags that this company sells. So, <laughs> um, uh, so if you saw my Memorial Weekend and I had on my, um, what I have on my leopard print romper and the bag I chose, this was the Florentine Smith in the color red and she went perfectly with my yellow dress today because it just went yellow and red two pops of color Florentine so still in her and then my bag came earlier than expected because I ordered it May 20 let me see May 21st and shout out to Adam at this place because he sent me color swatches and answered a couple of questions throughout the chat that you can do and he was like well it'll probably be the week after Memorial Week when you'll get your bag so I was like okay cool fine I didn't care I just wanted to place my order so I did that and I was actually on my way heading out the door to head to another cookout I've had nothing but graduation cookouts I feel like the whole memorial weekend and so I was heading there and UPS came lo and behold it was my bag so I was in such a rush to open up this bag because for one in 2020 I was trying to either get navy or purple to complete my missing parts of my collection that I was wanting <laughs> so enough of me gibbering my bag came. I don't have a unboxing. This will be a reveal. This is what I got. Go Forth Goods Large Avery Tote in Great Bison. It is a limited edition color. So that is why I wanted to go ahead and get my order in. Because I don't know how long it had been on the site and how much they had in this color. So I was like, let me just go for a style bag that I know will work, which you know I'm a tote person. And I chose the large Avery and I did do some customization. And the one thing I will say, I had asked for a color swatch because I wasn't sure if the color was gonna come off dark or if it was gonna be bright, I didn't know. Purple, you can know, I mean, you can know. <laughs> it can either be a bright purple, a dark purple, or like a mauve looking or lilac, whatever, but it just said great, so. He sent me the color swatch and he was like, it was taken with the iPhone. So you know how to come out. And I was like, yeah, okay. So just send it to me. He sent me that color swatch and I loved it. And here's my beauty. <laughs> and the color is showing up true to color. And I wanted to film it while I still had daylight. So the only customizations I did, if you were to just order the bag directly from Go Forth Goods, it will not have a front pocket and the shoulder drop will be 10. So I added a front pocket. I changed my shoulder straps to the 11 and a half option. And as you can tell, it probably would have been fine even if they did the 10 because the 11, you see where it falls on me. So, but I love the 11. So I know that that's the size that I will remain with. And I added a front pocket front pocket is big enough to put my phone in my note 9 
No, I have not upgraded yet. And the unboxing that I did, like I say, I was so happy to get into my box because <laughs> I wanted to see what I got. So inside the box, you get a little go forth business card and it has their information on it. And you get a card that tells you, well, this one is limited edition because of the color. And as you can see, it says the color is great bison and it has a number on here. I'm not sure if that's the item number or if that's the number of products they made. You know, like if they keep up with their inventory and this was the whatever number that means. And it says it was crafted five, was this 529.21? So that's what you get. So you can see I did get it in May of 2021. So you get that. You get a go forth sticker that I will use in my planner. And this is a leather care card. And I probably will read over that just because this is my very first experience with a full grain leather bag. I have a full grain leather journal that I purchased because I love the thrift. And I found it in there when I was thrifting one time. So I don't know what company made that, but it did not come from Go Forth Goods because I don't see the logo on it anywhere. But this is my large apron. I added the pocket, added the 11 and a half shoulder strap drop. And look at the leather up close. And this is showing up true to color. The striations that you see, you can actually feel those. I don't know if there is any pull up in this, maybe a little, because you can see where I just rubbed that right there. But this leather here is not gonna matter if you scratch it or ding it because it is full grain leather. It smells amazing. It smells like I'm inside the leather shop. I did not want feet on my bag. I figured the first one I get, let me see if I like it like this with nothing. And I'm truly pleased. And I will keep an eye out on, they had some other limited colors, a yellow, a pink and a blue. The blue was gone in the, for the large Avery. The pink and the yellow were still there, but you know, I still have my leisures. So I didn't want to get two big totes that were the, those exact colors. I have no purple totes in my collection. I have the Bordeaux Large Russell, but to me that's nowhere near purple. So this here completed my purple tote that I had been wanting. <laughs> I kept waiting on, do need to do like a, a grape or something that was a true purple. They didn't go for the goods. They made it. So I was able to acquire this. And like I said, the Grape Bison is limited edition. So if you were looking at this color, I would say don't waste your time. So let's just get into the bag. Here's the pocket you can see is raw uncut leather there. And this little care card, like it stands up in there. My phone will fit, but I'm filming on it. The straps, look how thick this leather is on these straps. Like these things are not going to, just look at that, thick inside of the bag this is what got me look how gorgeous that is true purple the shade that you're seeing right there that's the color of the inside of the bag beautiful beautiful and i knew when i got the bag it was going to come with the pockets here and a key keeper so you can attach i see a lot of people if they have key keepers they attach like a either their key ring there or like their LV mini pochette or like your coach Nolita 15s you can attach there for grab and go pieces. So this pocket is the raw finish there. And about the pockets, you put your hand down, it comes under the pocket. So it's attached with the grommets here, which are literally the other side of your shoulder strap. So, if I can show you. 
So this here is the back side of the strap there. But look at that purple. This is beautiful. And your other pocket, same way. So the front of the bag and then the back. The back, I did not add a pocket there. I'm assuming you maybe can add a pocket there if you call and get them to add it on. But you see you have two of the same size pockets there, one on the front, one on the back. I did not put my initials on the bag and it's not because in case I decide to sell it, it's because I just didn't want my initials on the bag. The bag does have go forth goods printed in the leather here on the strap. I just chose to get the initials GFG for go forth goods on the pocket. So it's kind of like my, like I made my own tag on the pocket representing the brand. <laughs> so I'm trying to see. So you can choose to get your initials monogrammed on there. Like I say, I did not. I just put GFG on the pocket. So that way, because you know, like with your, like say for Dooney and Burke, you know, you always have a um, the company brand stamp inside the bag. So I just put their initials on the pocket to represent them. And even the initials on the strap here, like it's not really noticeable once you have it on, but you know, inside the bag, go forth goods. I am very pleased with this. They do have a large Avery Deluxe. It comes with a zipper and the edges are finished. I was debating on that one, but I said, you know what? Let me get this one. And I'm very happy. So <laughs> I will keep an eye out on their limited colors to see what other beautiful colors pop up. And I knew since this purple was limited i figured you know what purple is purple but you know how hard it is sometimes to match stuff unless you buy the matching accessory right then and there so i chose to get the tuck leather card case in grape bison as well it's just a basically like the size of a regular card case and you can fit like business cards or credit cards or your debit card in here and it's called tuck, I'm assuming, because all you do is tuck the piece of leather down under the flap. And that's how you close it. It is branded with Go Forth Goods right there. You open it up. It's raw as well on the inside, full grain leather as well. It's just open. And this is my complimentary keychain they gave me, which is really nice. And you can use these like when you're out and about and somebody asks about your bag. Just let them feel your keychain. Like this is what the leather feels like. This is the quality. It's going to be raw like this on the inside. So I really love this. So this was complimentary. And the card case. Okay, so here is the business card from Go Forth Goods. Slide it in there like so. So this I would probably use for like my gift cards or like if I was carrying a bigger wallet and I just needed my driver's license and maybe I'm trying to think. Well, just like your simple cards, because I don't know how many cards would fit in here because it gives a little bit. And, you know, leather, it'll probably stretch over time, but I don't want to st overstuff it because, I mean, I will use a big wallet with this. And I initially heard about this brand from Dooney at 615, like right before the Christmas holiday at the end of 2020, she showed us her red Go Forth Goods Large Avery Tote. And I wasn't looking to buy, you know, anything from any of the companies at the time, but I always kept it in the back of my mind. And she told me they had a few colors that were limited then. I didn't pull the trigger on anything. And then when these other colors popped up that were limited edition and <laughs> purple was on there, I was like, okay, well, if I'm going to take the plunge, purple is a color I've been looking for. Purple is hard to find in any brand in bags that are either the size or style that I carry. So the fact that they had purple and in a tote, 
I mean, it was no reason for me to wait any longer. So here's my accessory piece that I did purchase, the tuck leather card case and great bison. And here is my large Avery tote and great bison. I did not add feet, like I say, on mine. I added a pocket and I changed the shoulder strap length to the 11 and a half. And as you can see, it goes great with my yellow. Apparently that's my color scheme that I put together all the time <laughs> because when I had my golden mango, I had purple accessories. So that purple target pouch would go great in here. And my golden mango wallet would go perfect in here. My little card case, if I wanted to keep like my gift cards, if I know I'm going out, I can keep that in there. Um, this right here, I could attach it on the key ring just so I won't lose it. So this is really nice and it is really showing up true to color. And if you can see the thickness, this is the only bag I have from Go For The Goods. So I'm not sure if all their bags are this thick or like if they make the um, crossbodies or briefcases a little thinner, I'm not sure, but I'm very pleased with this. And it is so soft and the smell, like I say, it's like being in a leather shop. Even if you want your pocket in the back, cause it does not snap or anything. You can do it that way and just wear a tote like this. So this is more or less an unveil because I did not do, I didn't record the unboxing, but it came wrapped in there, um, like the butcher paper, the bag is, you know, the bottom is folded like that. And my card case was in there and then these pieces were in there. And then everything was wrapped in butcher paper. The box was perfectly big enough for this size tote. <laughs> but yes, I am very pleased. So there is a couple of videos on YouTube of people that have purchased different items from Go Forth Goods. There is some, um, I've seen crossbody style bags and then the large Avery tote is on a few channels. And some channels have multiple colors of the bag so that you can get to see different different colors. And for the most part, it looks like most of them have this dark brown shoulder strap. So I'm assuming that's standard for them, but I'm not sure. I'm still new to the company myself. But I would definitely order again, and I would keep everything the same way. I'm okay with it not having feet. I did not add snaps or a zip. And like I said, the only other alternative was to get the large Avery Deluxe, which comes with a zipper. You still get the two inside pockets and it has a pocket on the front. I'm not sure if it has a pocket on the back also, but it definitely, definitely was a backup option if I didn't get this one. But next time I order, I will keep the same 11 and a half shoulder strap. And I will definitely always add a pocket on the front and I could see possibly ordering another one of these just to match whatever color I choose, just because if it's limited, you know, sometimes you want to get your bag first and then you go back to look for accessories and they're not there. <laughs> but yes, so thank you so much, Dooney Attic 615 for showing us your bag and telling us a little bit about the brand. And I'm really loving this. This purple has really completed my purple collection and like I say, I'm still carrying my Smith bag for the rest of this weekend and possibly on until next week after Memorial Day weekend. Because this Smith is just, this is one that if you only had one, you would be okay because you had that one. <laughs> but <laughs> this is a great bag. I know it's too big for some, but I love Smith. And since I have my Barlow, I wanted to show you the purple. Isn't this beautiful? So this is the purple from Dooney and Burke. And this is purple from Go Forth Goods. Well, great from Go Forth Goods. Look at that. So this was the only purple purse that I had. And 
Now I have a purple tote. This is, this is nice. And for a wallet, I have this from Coach, which is the primrose color. It looks more mauve to me, but I could easily use this as a wallet and then this to hold extra cards. And that fits into the pocket. <laughs> so if you have this from Coach, let me see if it fits on the inside pocket. Okay, it does not fit on the inside pocket. It's like that. I can't get it to go, well it does. Okay, it doesn't go all the way down in the pocket. But I'm really thinking what I'm going to use as a wallet is this. This is my, well, I don't know. Might have to use something else. It would go, but not my first choice. This is a lilac. I believe this is the large wristlet 24 from coach yes the large wristlet 25 in lilac from coach I thought that was gonna work I could put it in there since it's a big bag and a big wallet this basically is like your six card slots there and zipper pouch on the other side so I could totally use these two that would work. Oh yeah, that works. And then I have my fave. <laughs> this baby right here, the Dooney and Burt Retro Carrington. Of course she goes. <laughs> So this may be the one of choice because this is my fave, but the problem is when I move into this, it's hard to get me out of it. So between these two, I have not carried this yet. So between these two, it would be my wallet. So maybe I'll start out with this one just so I can use it. But either way, I have options. I just wanted a small piece of their SLGs just so I could see how they are too. Because you know, getting stuff in full grain leather is gonna be different than getting your typical wallet. So I just figured I would get something like this. And I wish they made like, um, they have an executive journal cover that fits like your legal size notebook, I mean, legal size paper notepad. If they had one smaller that fits inside the purse, I would love that one. But yeah, so this is my go for good. And like I say, Adam helped me by sending me pictures of the color swatch of the great bison. And it says on the card that David actually crafted the bag for me. So thank you, David. I definitely will be ordering again if they come with a limited edition color that catches my eye. But yes, so I wanted to come on and show you this. Sorry I didn't do the unboxing on here, but this is my Go For The Goods Large Avery Tote, the color Grit Bison. And my, I just put it at my tuck leather card case in the color Grit Bison. Thank you all so much for watching, and I will see you in the next one.